Hello Python students. In this lecture, we will discuss fourth component of Python, which is set. If you look at this example, the notation of these brackets which are used for sets are curly brackets, which are similar to dictionary. Whereas values inside follow a pattern which is like a list or a tuple. So the question is, what is different about set as compared to other three components? First, set does not allow duplicate values. For example, if we add these duplicate values and try to print the set, still we will get only the unique values in that set and all the duplicates will be discarded. Second, set is an unordered entity, which means we cannot say that this element 1 is at 0th index or it's the first element in set. And because of that, if we try to execute something like this, a computer will give us an error. Set object is not subscriptable. As I mentioned, Sets do not have a notion of order. Set is simply a collection of values. Third, with respect to mutability, set is peculiar. Set itself is mutable. But every value inside set has to be immutable and hashable, which means you can add values into a set, but whatever values which we add, those values has to be immutable. Hence, we cannot add a list or a dictionary or a tuple containing a list or a dictionary to a set because then it will not be immutable as well as hashable. Apart from this, we can iterate over a set. Moving to next point, which is set methods. The concept of set in Python is derived from mathematical sets. Therefore, Python set also support all those operations which we usually perform using mathematical sets like subset, superset, union, intersection, difference, and so on. Okay. All these mathematical operations can be implemented using Python sets in two different ways, either using a specific operator or using set methods. Let's look at few such examples. Look at this code. Print a dot is subset b. Let's execute. And the answer is true. Because a is a subset of b. Similarly, we can check superset as well. Now, the answer is false. a is not a superset of b. In fact, it's other way around. Next mathematical operation is union. As I mentioned earlier, Python can perform these mathematical operations in two different ways. First, using a method or second, using a specific operator. And this is the operator for union. Let's execute. In both cases, we are getting same output as expected. Let's try intersection. Once again, this is the operator for intersection or we can use set method. Let's try one more operation, difference. Difference method. 
and difference operator. Let's execute and we got the result. In this case, it actually performs A minus B. Thank you for watching this lecture. Happy learning.